What's up guys, Mayhem here. Today I'm going to show you all how to create your own RuneScape private server. And for this video we're going to be doing a 718 revision. I haven't seen many videos on YouTube about this so I'm going to be using it. Now we're going to need to download a few things. So you're going to go down in the description and you're going to go to the first link which will be to WinRAR. You're either going to want x86 or x64. To tell you'll go down to your start orb, right click computer and hit properties. And now you just want to look at system type and minus 64 bit so I would get 64. If it says x86 or 32 bit here then you're going to want x86. But if it says 64 you're going to want the 64 bit version. Then you're going to want to go ahead and install that. Um, I do want to mention that before you click that link or before you get to this page it's going to take you through AdFly. All you'll have to do is look in the top right corner and click skip ad after five seconds. That's what all the links are going to be doing to uh, get to the downloads. Next we're going to want to go to the second link which will be to Eclipse and we're going to want to download the Eclipse IDE for Java EE developers and you'll just want to get 64-bit or 32-bit. Again that's just depending on your system. Um, the last thing we're going to need is Java JDK so we're gonna go to the last link in the description and it's gonna take us to this page sorry I didn't already have it pulled up what you'll want to do is click accept license agreement and you'll want to download um, Windows 64 or Windows 86 just depending on your operating system again and I have 64 so I'll click the bottom one here and those are the programs you're going to need. The last link is going to take you to Mediafire and it's going to be a download to our source and client which I will be explaining what they are here in just a second. So basically we're here on our desktop and we've downloaded everything, have all our programs installed and we have the matrix package. This was originally created by um, a person named Dragon KK on the internet and he kind of has disappeared to my knowledge off the internet and you're not supposed to re-release this so if he would like if he sees this video and would like me to take it down he can you know private message me on youtube and i'll take it down immediately but there's really no copies of this on the internet and it's really difficult to find because all the links are broken so anyway we're gonna open this up and we'll click close if our win raw is expired and we just want to click this and drag it out to our desktop. It'll take just a second here to extract. Um, I definitely recommend making a folder for all this stuff. I made a folder called 718 because that's the revision we're using here on my desktop. And I can't really click anything right now while this is doing it. So there we go. Give this just another second here. Okay, that's finally extracted. We can exit out of this, and I would make a backup of this just in case I have to, um, in case something goes wrong. Again, I said make a folder here, which I keep all my RuneScape private server stuff in. So I'm going to click on this, and I'm going to go to Eclipse, which you can then uh, run by clicking this little purple thing right here. I'm not going to show you how to install that. I definitely recommend keeping this as is and click OK. Um, if you can't install that then you probably shouldn't be watching this video because it's about to get a little bit more complicated. Um, so we're going to let Eclipse boot up here. I'm going to put the matrix package in my 718 folder. It'll take just a second here. I recommend that you do the same. You also, I shouldn't have done that. You want the matrix client and matrix server and basically the difference between the client and the server is the server is really where you're going to be making most of your changes. The client is basically um, what you're using to load up your game. Now, before we start editing all of these things, if you ever want your friends to pull, actually, I'm going to save that for a different video. I'll make another video on that. This is just going to be so that you can play by yourself. I know that's not very much fun, but that's all I really have, or yeah, really have time for in this video. It's actually getting kind of long already. What we're going to do is go to File and New, and we're going to, oops, we're going to go to Java Project. And here we'll just name it um, client because we're going to be putting our client in here because we have to edit something. And we're going to want to uncheck use default location and go to browse. We're going to go to 718 and we're going to go to matrix client and click OK. We then want to click finish. It'll take just a second. And now our client is in here. 
what we want to do is open this up go to SRC and we're gonna want to scroll all the way down here until we see loader.java we're gonna want to open that up it'll take just a second here it's taking a little bit longer because I'm recording all right here we are and you see where it says it should be right here um, it says public static string IP equals this this isn't my IP so feel free to do whatever you want with it but you want to erase what's in the quotes there and put 127.0.0.1 and then you just want to click the X here and click yes now what we want to do is go ahead and close out all that we want to delete this click OK do not click this here or it will mess up everything just click OK and it's gonna remove this now what we want to do is file new Java project and name this sor server source whatever same thing and we're gonna wanna uncheck use default location and then we'll go down to matrix server and we'll open that up and we'll click finish now what we want to do is right click server and go down to run as and we're gonna click Java application that will take just a second to load up here and we're gonna look right here for launcher and then it'll be com.rs it may be down here but mine's up here because I've used it before I believe I don't know but you wanna look for launcher com.rs and then double click that and it's probably not gonna work for you guys but it did for me what we're gonna need to do to make it work is right click server go to run as run configurations and click arguments here and type true space true space false in the program arguments and then click apply and then it should work for you and I would just name this I would take off the two whatever or maybe I already have that I don't know yeah it already exists so two whatever um, click apply and then click run and it should definitely work for you now um, you always have to run your server before you run your client so you can go ahead and like I said run the server here and it took it should down here you'll be able to see what it's doing and it's the last thing it should say is server took however many milliseconds to launch now what we want to do is go into our 718 folder go to matrix client double click run and if all went well it should be loading up here for you guys like I said this was created by dragon KK and I'm sure if people helped him but this uh, source and client was definitely not created by me all credits to dragon KK and then you can just create a login and a password and you'll log in I'm gonna be making a ton more videos about this guys to help you guys out because when I first started doing this I needed lots of help and it's very difficult to start up um, I wanna go ahead and mention after you're done playing if you don't want to save your progress you can click terminate here or you can log in ah you know what I'll have to save that for another video as well because we can't do anything here yet anyway um, sorry about that you're not gonna be able to save your progress yet in the next video check around my channel be sure to sub for the next video because that's probably what I'll do next it's the most important and it'll be a much shorter video but have fun um, messing around here on your little RSPS and when you're ready to shut down just click terminate here I'm sorry you won't be able to save your stuff yet but we'll get that worked out in the next video um, I'm gonna terminate here and exit out and exit out uh, yes okay thank you guys so much for watching I hope you enjoy playing around on your server and we'll be sure to I will be sure to make some more videos on this if you need any help leave a comment in the description and I'll try and help you if I don't know the answer to your question, then, you know, hopefully someone in the comment section will be able to help you. Thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to leave me a like and subscribe for more content like this. I'm going to be doing a lot like this. And uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Bye.